Hello guys, uh, here's a new video for you, uh, showing off some masks I haven't shown off in a while. This one was requested by Anthony Major on Facebook to be shown off again. Um, and yeah, it's been quite a while since I've shown this. Uh, the last video I remember taking of it was in 2011, I think October to be, uh, to be exact. But uh, I probably have shown it off more recently and I've just forgotten about it. I tend to do that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is my 2011 West Germany Vinyl Clown Mask. Uh, this when I bought it. It was one of the first ones made by Riddle back then. Um, along with Michael Coverts and like Corey Palmers and stuff like that. And David's Random Here UK. Um, I bought two and I sold one off um, not long after getting it, which I kind of uh, regret doing. But um, like I thought to myself, they can be bought again. Um, so yeah, uh, I converted it into an Osvestel clown. Uh, not that very well either. Um, back then I didn't know exactly what the Osvest weather was like, uh, stitching wise and stuff. And then eventually turned it into a 2000 still, and just sort of kept playing around with it, and eventually got into Dynamo, and back into 2000, which is sad just now. Um, <laughs> but when I got the mask, uh, pretty much every day I woke up, I had to wear it, um, I had to wear it for like an hour or two, uh, take it off, put it back on, and it, it just sort of really wore the mask out quite a bit, I stretched it out. Some of the hair fell out, uh, not just because of me, it was, uh, wasn't was that great with the hair and by Rudo. Um, so I had to rehair some of it with uh, strands of hair from Matthew Donnelly's Grammy Clown, which I repainted. Um, I just need to find a way of securing the hair in properly, otherwise it could just as easily be pulled out. Um, yeah, uh, I've repainted pretty much all of the mask now. I think the only thing that's on it, the original paint job, would be the yellow, um, the red in the nose, and the white in the teeth. Whereas, uh, like some of it is still original, but that's pretty much everything that's mainly original. Whereas, like all the eye paint was redone, the cheeks were redone, and a lot of the mouth was redone as well. Um, you know, like my airbrush and just testing out uh, painting and stuff like that. Um, the mask is a little bit outdated now in terms of accuracy with stitching and stuff like that, but uh, it's not off by that much. Um, I made sure that I got all the stitching as close as I could. Uh, so I'm still happy with it and just sort of refuse to let it go. There is a couple of people that do want to get it from me, but... Uh, I couldn't let it go, you know, even now that I own two vintage clones and uh, two other newer versions that have been repainted accurately, uh, which I still couldn't let this go. Maybe a sentimental value, just because it was my first one and all, uh, you know, if you don't include the latex one I had beforehand. So, yeah. Uh, I have thought about turning it into a present day style one, uh, like clones, if you guys haven't seen it already. Uh, he posted a picture on his Facebook, um, but I just, I don't know whether to go ahead and do that or not. I don't bother with the mask that much, um, and I like it as it is, so I don't really see any need to go changing it, to be honest. Uh, even if Clown's Mask does look pretty sweet uh, at the moment, <laughs> so. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. Um, depending on how much space I have on my phone, I'll try and get some other ones uploaded for you at some point. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, speak to you guys later. Goodbye.